everybody. I seriously don't believe it. After weeks and weeks of clouds, we have some sun. It seems like forever. I'm gonna do a little bit of work outside and then we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you what I'm working on. Unbelievable, we have some sun. So I'm gonna go up and hook up these solar units. Right, this solar unit is hooked up. I gotta go out and hook up the other one. I'm gonna do some cleaning up out here. <sighs> Finally, my tea towels will dry. Oh my word, people. I've had this out for a couple days. All right, so they are going to dry today. Thank the Lord, they are gonna be done. All right, let's see what else we can work on. Oh, it's so much easier filming when you have the natural sunlight because I have a lot of sun coming in. That means I don't have to lug around lights and do all of that. I did a video on canning beans using the Dollar Tree lids and I'm gonna go ahead and put the labels on them and then I'm gonna work on some bath fizzies. I'll talk to you a little bit about that. And a couple things in here. So we're gonna just kind of go back and forth today and you can see what I'm working on. So I made these labels. I wanna get these on the beans and then put these away. You will be really proud of me. I. All right, be really proud of me. I have some videos coming up. I was really cleaning, doing a spring cleaning and decluttering and just really working, really working hard in these cloudy days. But oh, the sun gives me energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these labels on and then put them in the canning room. And then we're gonna work on some bath fizzies, which I'll explain that to all of you when we get to that. And well, you'll just spend the morning with me. All right, so I have the blinds open so you can see what it looks like in here. I've really been cleaning in here. Everything's organized. Everything is up to date. Love my canning pantry. Yes, it's a lot of food. It's enough to feed 10 people for one year. And that's my goal. It's always to have enough of food to feed 10 people for one year. All right, we'll go put the beans in here and then we'll go on the other project. Okay, so what I am doing is I'm making bath fizzies. It's so simple to do it, and I use it for my dishwasher. I use it for cleaning toilets. I actually will throw one of them in the washing machine if the clothes are really dirty. All it is is one cup of baking soda and then a half a cup of citric acid, and that is how you make these. I was cleaning out my food storage closet, and I found a whole bunch of old baking soda. I don't know, maybe baking soda doesn't get old, but our daughter gave us some citric acid that she had for making these. And I thought, well, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them today. Maybe you wanna see how I do that. I'm not sure if this is a recipe I can double or not, but I am going to probably be triple it. I don't know, we'll see if it works this way. I have a lot, but I don't really wanna spend all day doing this. So we're gonna give it a try and see if I can actually triple the recipe. I'm gonna finish these up and then I will go outside and we have a few more jobs to do. All right, they're all finished and they turned out perfect. So I use these in the laundry. I use these in the dishwasher, these clean toilets, you name it, it's amazing. I like to make enough that will last me for a couple weeks. All natural, safe for your septic, safe for your plumbing, safe for the environment. 
a win-win. And aren't they adorable in the gingerbread men? Every minute of sunlight I have, I have to get out and do all this. It does make a difference, but in Eastern Pennsylvania, we don't have sun like California, places like Florida. So it really isn't, it's not as efficient as what it would be in some states. But nevertheless, it sure helped me out. All right, we're gonna go and we are going to work on the laundry soap. No, I'm not making more laundry soap, but I forgot, I have to do this. Oh, I guess I'll bring it out here. It's less mess. So, okay, I'll go get the laundry soap. We're gonna fill it up. Here is the bottles of soap that we're gonna put it in. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Try not to get my hands all messy. So while I'm out here doing this, I'm gonna fill both of them up. One of them is for dishes and one of them is for laundry. And then I use a whole cap. So I do use a cap that comes with the laundry soap. I wanna make sure I have enough room to shake it good. got full quick so I got that one done and now I gotta do this one it's so nice to have the camera on and be able to talk to all of you while I'm doing this these are such monotonous jobs but it's fun to share it with people and it doesn't freeze so it doesn't freeze solid which was nice because I was not sure All right, we're done. All right, everyone. I guess this is all for this video. Not all for me, I got a lot more work to do. And I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. This is called the Henry Lauder walking stick tree. It's a corkscrew. So the tree branches are corkscrew, which are really unique. This property had extremely unique, all kinds of trees. Unfortunately, we had to take down some trees because of the horrendous spotted lanternfly which was killing all of our trees here in Pennsylvania that was really sad but we continue to replant and continue to keep growing dear diary I'm finding these days a new burst of energy I feel like I'm getting things accomplished I feel like the winter maybe is finally over I'm working on journals and diaries and all kinds of beautiful gardening books I'm taking time to have a slower pace of living and I'm finding I'm getting more done. It seems like the slower I work, the more I seem to accomplish. I'm not sure how that seems to work out, but it appears that way. I realize now that happiness isn't found in a package. It's found in the daily work of being a homemaker and I'm absolutely loving every moment of it. I think when you're in your mid-50s, you tend to not worry so much about what other people think and you just devote your time and your energy on the things that you want in life. And I'm finally embracing the lifestyle that I've always wanted. I've been dreaming about this ever since I was seven years old and we would watch Little House on the Prairie. I have always wanted to live a simple life and now I'm doing it just one day at a time and living it in the moment.